Where are we, guys? It's 3-2, isn't it? 3-2. I, I, I said that, Frank, but Jeff is arguing. Great shot, man is from Texas, a great shot.
Three one. Is that net again? Is the net? Yes. I don't know why they just don't take that thing away. Yes. Is <laughs> that the same problem last year? Here last year, same kind of problem. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. It's fun. I'll be rooting for my son. But I don't call the lines. So. Well, you know, you're very good at handicapping. We'll win in a close match. The only thing is, is that Vincent has played all over the world. He never gets to people. Well, I started out uh, working with Tracy and Hepburn, and that's pretty terrific way to start. <laughs> and they were just so nice. It was a, another gal from New York who was a, a newcomer with me. And they were all saying, come on, let's get the right Have you ever, I, I know when you, when you work as long as you work, that you don't have to spare you the long way. Have you ever had something where you thought it was going to be a failure that turned out to be a success? Yes, I was in a play here in Washington, D.C. and I was doing the bank in Frederick March, and I got the Pulitzer Prize, and now it's considered one of the greatest American plays ever written by Thornton Wilder. But everybody thought that show was a big flop before it opened on Broadway. Didn't you ever have an experience with something you thought that an absolute bomb turned into an unqualified success? No, but I've had the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thrilled at the idea that the White House has a tennis court. And now tell me again, whose idea was that? Who put this tennis court here? Because I think whoever did it deserves a lot of credit. Uh, I think... Wasn't it Kennedy who put this court in? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Someone told me Roosevelt had the pool, and Eisenhower had the putting green, and I think Kennedy took the court. I think, I don't know. Uh, we're going to spin the round. 
Someone might have broken a wind in the White House. He's just You can get it. I bet he gets it. Oh, <laughs> 
history of all the participants who've been in the tournament these past four years. And the people whose pictures are on the pages are just a few of the people that have influenced this issue and there are millions more have been touched by your hard work and dedication. 
Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much for this. This, this is wonderful. I wish you could see the pictures. That they're great, and they bring back many, many happy memories. I'm very grateful to, to all of you, to all the participants, for giving up their time to be here today, especially that last match. <laughs> that was something. And of course, I'm very grateful to the sponsors without whom this, uh, these matches wouldn't have been um, possible at all. So for all the years that we've had, had the, uh, the tennis tournament, I'm, I'm very grateful to you. Now it's time to make some presentations to a couple of very special programs. Because of their work, the lives of many ch parents and children will be much, much brighter and America will be an even better place to live in. So first, I'd like to call up Dr. Robert Falk and the rest of you from Nashville, Tennessee, representing the Dee Dee Wallace Healthcare Center's Frontline Program. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. In this program, foster grandparents will be trained to help school-aged children avoid drug abuse problems. It's long been my dream to see this foster grandparents involved in drug abuse prevention. And this program is a wonderful example of just that. So I hope that, oh no, I have this, you have that. <laughs> I hope that this check will be a big boost to your efforts. Well, thank you, Ms. Reagan. <laughs> I certainly appreciate your generous gift and your recognition of Dee Wallace's quality program to help them all in drug abuse. You're really very welcome. You. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And now, the second, I'd invite Bruce Durbin and those of you representing the Target Intervention Pro Project, or TIP, to come forward. TIP is an interactive video which teaches young people to make responsible decisions about drug and alcohol abuse. I hope this check will help bring TIP into more schools across the country. <laughs> You're welcome. Through your inspiration, this is possible. Uh, now, I guess that, oh, <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you very much, thank, uh, the twins, we're, we're more than that, <laughs> thank you, thanks a lot, thank you. Now, if my roommate and, uh, all the uh, participants will join me. We'll have a group photo taken, and then everybody can go into the state dining room for some refreshments. OK? There's my roommate, but. Uh... This where we go and get the group